Hi guys, this is Emma at The Vlog Lady and today I'm going to be talking about some of the Twin Peaks news that has come out this week. We are only a few days away from the air date of Twin Peaks and it has exploded basically. Everything has come out last minute because of the secrecy surrounding this show. They have wanted to wait until the last minute to show anything, to tell us anything. In the last couple of days my social media accounts have just been bling bling blinging um, with all this stuff that's come out about Twin Peaks. So I wanted to take a look at some of the things that have come out this week because I do think they're exciting. This video will contain spoilers for season 3 if you want to experience the show in a more pure way and not experience any spoilers then turn me off now. Otherwise let's dive within. Firstly we had four cast members appearing on Good Morning America. Kimmy Robertson, Dana Ashbrook, Jim Belushi and Kyle MacLachlan all appeared together talking about the show. This was a very revealing interview. The cast were clearly very bonded and also they were in very high spirits. If you don't follow all of the cast on social media in an obsessive way like perhaps I do, um, then you might have missed Kimmy and Dana's posts showing behind the scenes footage of them locking around. They seem to be having a great time which I can only assume is a good thing because I think if the cast are so happy with each other and so happy about promoting the show then I think that they must have a good feeling about it. Jim Belushi was the only new cast member to appear in that interview and he was asked about his time on the show. He did let slip a little spoiler, he was asked about ad-libbing on set and he admitted to doing that and being reprimanded by David Lynch and Belushi let slip that there was a party scene and my immediate thoughts went to Pink Room and Fire Walk With Me. I can imagine Belushi's character being involved with a scene like that. His character seems to be one that may be up to mischief. They also posted a picture of him with Robert Nepper. I think it's safe to assume that the two are either brothers or partners in crime in some way. They look like they might be the new Ben and Jerry. The picture of Belushi and Nepa shows the two in very elegant looking suits. Clearly they have a lot of money behind them and clearly they have some kind of high social standing as well. Belushi pointed out that he perhaps shouldn't have said anything about the party scene. This may have been a secret that should have been kept under wraps until later. Of course the rest of the cast members didn't say anything much about the show except to confirm that it takes place 25 years later after the original series ended. There have also been some photos released this week. First of all there was a promotional photo featuring Kyle MacLachlan, Naomi Watts and Dana Ashbrook sitting together. This is a great photo, it looks really stylish. I love the way that Naomi Watts and Kyle MacLachlan look together, I think they look like a hot pairing and I wouldn't be surprised to see her as Cooper's love interest. A thought did come to my mind seeing this picture, is there any possibility that she could have been recast as Annie? This might seem unlikely given that Heather Graham is actually a big name actress and there is no reason for her not to have returned but perhaps David Lynch simply preferred Naomi Watts um, and wanted to include her in this project. But I also thought that Dana Ashbrook being on that photo, he looked really well and healthy and I think that Dana and <laughs> Naomi would make a good pair too. Um, assuming that Shelley wasn't in the picture, which she appears to be. Um, but if the Shelley and Bobby romance should have gone sour, I wouldn't object to seeing him rendezvous with Naomi Watts. <laughs> we have some more pictures out this week. One of them showed Richard Beamer as Ben in his office of the Great Northern. Nothing much seems to have changed. Uh, the office looks pretty much the same. The desk looks pretty much the same which is kind of weird. I mean can you imagine having a desk from 25 years ago and the exact same things are on it? I mean, that is just strange. Ben was talking to someone in his office and in my opinion this person is Jerry. I think that David Patrick Kelly has this a similar style to the person in the chair um, with, with the longer hair and the hat. I know that his hair is thinning on top and I think that a hat would be a logical choice. The clothes look Jerry-ish. Jerry was known for wearing quite colourful clothing I would say and I think that as an older man this would be something that he would choose to wear. 
I also think it's logical to assume that Ben and Jerry spent their lives together because they were so close in the original series. Another photo that came out this week was one of Dr. Jacoby. It's 2017, but he still looks like he just rolled off Ken Casey's multicolored bus. There is also more pictures from the set showing Sarah Palmer. She appears at the till of the supermarket that we saw her in in the, in the trailer. And she has a very concerned look on her face. I think there is going to be more in the scene than just her buying alcohol. I think something is actually happening in that scene that has more substance than that. Perhaps she sees a, a vision, perhaps she's being told something by the sales assistant. Um, other cast members who've made an appearance this week include Robert Forster, who is likely to play Franklin or Frank Truman. Um, there have been lots of interviews, revealing interviews as well with David Lynch. In his interview with Rolling Stone, David Lynch suggested that the man from another place Michael J. Anderson was not going to appear in the revival. I know there had been some suggestion that Michael J. Anderson might have just been pretending that he wasn't going to appear so that it would be more of a surprise but it seems likely that he is not going to be in the new series now and that perhaps he has been either recast or the role dropped. Lynch was also very cagey when he was asked about Bob and refused to give an answer as to how Bob is going to appear in the new show. Actor Frank Silva is no longer with us, so his role would have to have been recast. Bob was such an important character that it seems likely this is the case, or someone else has assumed the role of Bob. For instance, we might be seeing Leland as the new Bob and Leland's reflection every time we see him in a mirror. There was still some suggestion that Robert Nepper could be playing Bob. I thought that seemed unlikely given that we had seen Nepper in his character's clothing and unless Bob has decided to <laughs> have a complete makeover then I don't think that the way Nepper is dressed really aligns with how Bob presents himself. That actually leads to an interesting question about how Bob's attire can be seen and why his clothing is different to the person wearing the clothing who he is inhabiting. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like a quantum leap thing. One final piece of news this week is that the first eight episodes of Twin Peaks now have titles. The first episode is called My Log Has a Message for You. The second is The Star's Turn and a Time Presents Itself. The third episode is called Call for Help. The fourth is Brings Back Some Memories. Part five is called Case Files. Part six is called Don't Die. Part 7 is called There's a Body Alright and Part 8 is called Got a Light. They're, they are quite revealing titles. I'm going to assume that Catherine Coulson is in Part 1. In Part 2 I'm going to assume that the lodges are opening. In Part 3, which is called Call for Help, suggests that someone is in desperate need and that perhaps the momentum of the story is starting to gather speed. Part 4, which is called Brings Back Some Memories suggests that there might be some kind of retrospective look back. At Could this episode see Cooper returning to Twin Peaks after 25 years and meeting again with all the characters he once knew and loved? Part 5, which is called Case Files, I assume it's an episode in which we're going to see a lot of FBI presence. Part 6, Don't Die, is very ominous and suggests somebody has been injured or somebody is reaching the end of their life perhaps through aging and they have some kind of important role or information that needs to be relayed. And part 7, there's a body all right, suggests that there has been a body concealed somewhere and that the body has just been discovered. Um, not surprising to find out that there is going to be another fatality, uh, another crime perhaps in Twin Peaks. Part 8 got a light, sounds kind of hipsterish. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who smoked in the original show and whether this refers to them. I know that Donna smoked a lot. I think Audrey smoked. It could, of course, refer to somebody entirely new. Of course, the title could have another meaning completely. It may not be to do with smoking. It may be to do with lightness, as in opposed to the darkness, as in the White Lodge. So one thing that did concern me was the fact that in all of these promotional pictures and in the trailer that came out recently, all of the characters that we've seen so far have very sombre looks on their faces. They look like they are so sad. 
And I just can't understand, especially with some of the characters like Lucy or Andy or Dr. Jacoby, why they would be so serious and sad. I know that aging sometimes calms a person down and makes them more mature and perhaps that's why we're seeing people looking so serious. But I think the more likely reason is that something has happened in Twin Peaks. Something has happened to these people to make them all so miserable. One thought I had about that is Laura Palmer, she was such a force in everybody's life. Even though she had this double life, she always had relationships with everybody in the town. She was teaching Josie English, she was doing the Meals on Wheels, she was Harold's friend, she was a big life force in town. And what if everyone's life just got a little darker when Laura Palmer left the earth? There could be a lot of other reasons for the way that everyone looks so sad and it could be something connected to what Cooper did once he got out the lodge. It could be something to do with an event that is currently happening, something bad, a murder, a death. Perhaps it's the effect of the lodges. I'm excited to find out what exactly is wrong with the town and why these people look so damn miserable. One thing is for sure and that is the tone of the series has been set with all of these pictures and trailer releases and I would expect the first few episodes to be more on the dark side than comedic. So that's all I'm going to talk about today. I think this might be my last video before my reaction and review of the first two episodes of Twin Peaks which will be out on Monday. Hope everyone enjoys their Twin Peaks viewings, whether they're going to be alone or in a party. Let me know how you're going to be watching in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in Twin Peaks or David Lynch. And you can also follow me on Twitter at The Vlog Lady or connect on Facebook at the same name. And that's all for now. Bye!